Hey guys, it's Russell back. And on today's video, as part of our hybrid wash series, we're going to be testing and reviewing the combination of Meguiar's Gold Class and Barrett Jackson Car Wash. Both of these car soaps are very, very good in their own right. They're not super premium level, so I'm hoping that the combination may allow us to find that perfect 10 which we're looking for, wow, that would really, really increase my heartbeat a lot if we could do that. But as always, in our test, we're gonna be using the MTM submachine gun style foamer for the foam portion of the test. This is the PF22. I'll be using 10 ounces of warm water, one ounce each of our different car soaps. Then we'll be moving to our bucket where I'll have a three gallon bucket and we'll use one ounce each in the bucket portion to test the foaming ability and also how it performs in a hand wash. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat the rain. I'm gonna try. Uh, it's starting to get really cloudy outside and it is supposed to rain, so I gotta get this video done. So why am I talking? Come on, let's go look at how dirty the Accord is and see what the combination of this hybrid wash can do. Been through a couple of rainstorms. All right, I've got 10 ounces of warm water, one ounce of our McGuire's Gold Class, one ounce of our Barrett Jackson. Let's see how this foams. The foam initially goes on very, very, very thick. You can see this is kind of a two-stage foam. You've got the denser portion that's basically sticking where the car paint is, and then you've got some finer and medium cell bubbles kind of sheeting over that. That kind of looks like a waterfall. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this dwell for six minutes. We'll come back and then we'll rinse it off and see how well this does with the non-bonded contaminants. All right, here we are six minutes later and we've probably got 65 to 70% left on the hood the glass on the top and on this side we've probably got I don't know 35% or so of the volume left so I'm going to go ahead and rinse this with the pressure washer and we'll see what kind of non-bonded contaminants the hybrid combination was able to remove
All right, the combination of our Gold Class and Barrett Jackson did a really, really, really good job on removing the non bonding contaminants. Far, far better than most other combinations I think I've ever tested. As you can see, it has not harmed our Adams liquid paint sealant. You know, guys, this as a pre-wash is really, really, really good. And let me tell you why. It removed all the non-bonded contaminants and actually worked fairly well on the bonded. You can kind of barely see where I put my finger, but a pre-wash will usually not remove anything but just the very, very top layer of brake dust. It didn't remove it all, we don't expect it to, but for a pH neutral car soap, it did It did fantastic. It really did. I am very, very impressed with this combination. This is one of those situations where either of these by themselves are really good, but you combine them, and both of these combined are better than the pre-wash if you did it by it, each of them by themselves. Wow, this is, this is so good it makes me want to eat chocolate. And I don't really even like chocolate that much. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get everything set up and see what kind of foamage it makes in our hand bucket. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put our one ounce each of our gold class. This is a fairly viscous amber color. I don't know, it kind of looks like vitamin C. Smells like Johnson's baby shampoo. I'm going to put an ounce in there. And we're going to put an ounce of our Barrett Jackson, which is kind of a royal blue. It's a little bit more viscous than the gold class. It's got a little bit of a berry scent to it. As you can see from the last video, I broke the shot glass because I dropped it. Here's a brand new one. Same one, it's just blue. So both of these two car soaps are gonna sit on the bottom till we agitate it with our pressure washer, which we'll do next. There is just a slight bit of lubrication in the water itself before just from what was in the shot glass. All right, so this makes a very nice dense foam. There is a slight bit of a breeze and there's a lot of medium cell bubbles. There are some smaller, small cell bubbles, but this is a very stable foam. Even with the wind blowing, it's not breaking down. Uh, but again, this is just window dressing. This is not what you're washing the car with. You're washing the car with the soap and water solution. And there is a very nice amount of lubrication in the water. Not as much as some of the others we've tested, but very, very uh, satisfactory. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up. I'll get our multiple microfiber mitts and we'll go ahead and do a hand wash on the Accord and see what kind of results we get with this hybrid wash.
right guys, I'm going to give you my final impressions of the McGuire's Gold Class and the Barrett Jackson Auto Wash. I got to say, this combination is a triple play for sure. This is one of those this is one of those combinations that both car washes are really good. You put them together, they are awesome. I'm going to have to give this a 3.75 on the hand wash. I don't think I rated it as a pre-wash. I'm going to say it's a it's an easy 9.5. And, and the reason, let me let me give you if I can quantify the reason is that the car wash is very durable meaning that when I start, for instance, this end of the panel and finish at the other end, the soap solution that's in the mitt is still doing its job. It doesn't kind of fizz out. Some of the car washes will fizz out halfway through. And even though this is not the combination that has the most lubrication, it is a combination that it's very, very durable. It cleans the non-bonded contaminants very well. It feels good in the mitt and it just did an awesome job. So we're going to get there, guys. I, I feel that there is a 10 out there. We just got to figure out the right combination. I think so far, this is probably the, uh, the top at the leaderboard for sure. In fact, the car is so clean now, it makes me feel dizzy. So it's good stuff. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I appreciate your subscribership and your viewership. If you would like to donate to the channel, please do so. There is a link in the description box. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will see you guys on the next video.